We're almost there. We're gonna make it. <laughs> Trump Republicans want to criminalize young Alabama women who travel for reproductive care. Miss, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle, take a pregnancy test. Stop them by taking action at righttotravel.org. So that is an ad that will be playing in Alabama uh, today, actually. Gavin Newsom uh, was behind that, like a number of other ads that have gone viral. And it's obviously a dramatization. That will not literally happen exactly like that. And that is the sort of technical thing that the Republicans will howl and whine and scream about. But that's the future that they want. They want it to be criminalized. They are not content to roll back your rights where they rule, where they tragically have been given political power. No, they demand the ability to determine what happens to you even when you flee their repressive 18th century laws and get to a place that still has civilization. If you exercise your rights there, they still wanna criminalize it. And so sure, the guy's not gonna tap on your window with a pregnancy test, but the end result of it will be indistinguishable. Francesca, what do you make of this? Well, right. I mean, I think that you know it is a dramatization. Uh, you know, you got three white women. Good, good ad. You know, always, always wins a lot of hearts, I guess. But like, I think the reality actually might look not unlike that, as you're saying. They might not have a pregnancy test, but the line of questioning and the ways that this opens up citizens to a new line of harassment from law enforcement is something that women have dealt with for generations. I mean, and we thought it was over once we won the right to a safe abortion based on the right to privacy. But that's now all been undone and the weight of the state, thanks to a party that supposedly believes in small government, now the weight of the state is now being levied at individuals. And here's the thing about states' rights. This is a brilliant tweet by someone I cannot find. But they're like, I believe in states' rights for abortions. In fact, I think we should go further than that. Let's talk about you know county rights. Let's talk about city rights. Let's talk about <laughs> neighborhood rights. Let's talk about family rights. Let's talk about the right of each person to determine yeah. whether or not they have an abortion. When Governor Kristi Noem says that about let's let the people decide, let's let people decide. That's all yeah. I have to say. Yeah, and it, that, that that is very clever. And uh, when it comes to what the people would decide, it just seems like people are obviously angry about all of this of what's come since Roe v. Wade was killed. But I honestly don't think they're angry enough about the utter injustice of the fact that it took this social movement to get that case, to get that right. And then we had 50 years of the right desperately trying to convince people to go back to the old ways. Mm -hmm. They never succeeded. They never were able to do that. Public opinion was never in their favor. People did not want to give up those rights. And then as a result of losing the popular vote in a bunch of presidential elections, but still because of the way that the system is rigged towards small rural states, they get enough people in the Senate, they're able to squeak through some electoral college wins. They get the Supreme Court, even though people never supported that kind of Supreme Court, and they can strip the right away. So after that entire utterly foundationally undemocratic 50 years, to say that you give a damn about the will of the people is one of the most reprehensibly hypocritical things I can imagine. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?